video I'm going to break down how you can edit the student dashboard with the new Lifter Elements plugin, the Lifter Elements Elementor integration that's available from Tangible Inc. And yeah, let's jump into it. So as you can see on my screen here, I have the Lifter dashboard. This is what it'll look like out of the box. We have these tabs on the top and then these uh, sections in the middle here. And I do have a separate video on how to get rid of these tabs if you don't want them there, and another video on how to remove these um, middle sections if you don't want those there. But in this video, what we're going to do is dive into how to use Elementor rather than some um, lifter settings or a little code. Um, so yeah, let's jump into it. So for this tutorial, uh, these are the plugins that will be required, these five here. We don't need this, this is just for my host, but we'll need these five plugins. Uh, Elementor, Lifter LMS, Elementor Pro, Tangible Lifter Elements Integration, and then Dynamic Visibility for Elementor. The Dynamic Visibility for Elementor is a neat plugin. It will let us display some things to users who are logged in and some things to users who are logged out. And that can be pretty useful when we're working with the, uh, the student dashboard there. So yep, those five plugins are what we're gonna be utilizing. So if I head back over here to my dashboard, um, I can go ahead and launch the Elementor Builder. I'll just do this in a new tab. I like to have multiple tabs open so I can flip between them um, and kind of see my updates as I go. So we can see the student dashboard is kind of like one module or one kind of block here, it's one element. And Lifter Elements has the user dashboard, which is what I'm using right here. Um, and the student dashboard for Lifter, uh, it displays this kind of thing when logged in, but if I'm logged out, it'll display a login form for me. And I want to keep the login form for students who are not logged in, so that's where the dynamic visibility for Elementor comes in. If I edit my section here, I have this visibility option and I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on and then click user enroll and I'm gonna select visitor. So only visitors are gonna be able to see this dashboard element. And so if I reload, we should see the same thing because I'm not logged in right now. But then if I head to my logged in view and I reload, we should see nothing because um, you know only visitors can see this section. So that's a pretty nice trick to be able to um, you know, display a login form to, stu or to visitors, but then display something else to users who are logged in. So now we can go ahead and build up what we want logged in users to see. So I'll go ahead and just add a section. Um, we'll just, you know, maybe add a heading that says like student dashboard. And then, you know, we can center align it and style it up and whatnot with Elementor. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and head back here and scroll all the way down. And I also wanna display the courses to students. So let's go do that. Uh, I'd like to do user courses and add that right here so that way students can see their courses and I'll show you another neat trick that I like to use on dashboards called pop-ups. Elementor Pro has a pop-up builder and uh, what I'd like to do is have a button that displays a pop-up so maybe for user achievements I'll want to have them click a button and then see their achievements in a pop-up. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and add a button and Let's see here. So I'll say view achievements. And then what I'm going to want to do from here is I'm going to need to create a pop-up. Uh, under this link option, we have this option for dynamic. And I can see, I can do a pop-up. I don't have a pop-up created, so let's go make that now. So I'll head over to my new tab, or my other tab rather, and we'll head to templates, add new. And then we'll say, I want to create a pop-up. And we'll call this one Achieve uh, Elements, elements Pop-Up. There we go. So I have my Achievements Pop-Up, and I'm going to create my template. And I have a whole lot of these to choose from, but I'm just going to X out and create from scratch. So first off, you know, I'll just make it like a, a thousand pixels here, and I'll go ahead and uh, back to my widgets. So here's where I can kind of create my uh, the pop-up I want to have, and I want to have user achievements. So uh, tangible lifter uh, lifter elements lets us do that with the user achievements icon here, or the widget rather. We'll put that in here, and then we can see heading. I'll just say uh, your achievements, and then you know we can style this up however. But now we have a pop-up that will display the achievements, and I'm going to go ahead and click on publish. And we don't need any of these display conditions or anything, so we're just going to head to the corner here and click Next, Next, Save and Close. Because our triggering event is going to be the button, and I'll show you how to do that here. Um, so I do need to reload the page since I made my pop-up after loading it. So let's go ahead and reload that, and we should be able to now add in my pop-up. 
So I'll scroll all the way down to the button. I'm gonna click Edit, Dynamic, and Pop-Up. And then I can click on this box here, select my pop-up, we'll call it Achievements, and there it is. So now when uh, someone clicks that button, it's gonna give them their pop-up. Let's see if it works. There we go. So this is uh, what the logged in users will see. And I click on view achievements and there's my pop-up. And I can you know, click the X or close anywhere. Um, but yeah, so that's a really neat tool to have at your disposal to be able to put things in pop-ups like that. So then I can, um, you know, you don't have to display everything on the page, but then if a user wants to pull it up, they can. Um, and you know, you could add like a close pop-up button and style this up however you want. But that's kind of the basics of how you can kind of rebuild your dashboard. And that should, uh, you know, let you go in kind of any direction from there. And um, yeah, so that's uh, kind of how you can rebuild the student dashboard with the new Lifter Elements integration. Uh, this has been Will from WPCourseGuide.com. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you in the next video.